Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners, and on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons depending on the service or product that they're offering, and their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's mining profitability calculator. Just like ASIC miner value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash, and they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder, but just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out and by supporting them you're supporting the channel and i couldn't thank you enough but let's get back to the video hey what's going on everyone vega here for serpent x tech and we're going to be getting two birds with one stone in this video uh going to be looking at the gtx 760 now and what is the performance as far as gaming performance you know how does it compare on benchmarks time spy fire strike so on and so forth but also what is the hash rate or performance this card can produce if it can mine anything at all because these cards were at the time pretty decent but two gigabytes of memory vram isn't a whole lot now they didn't come with back plates or anything special but you could sli them i do have two of them uh, this is a little bit dusty so a little cleaning out a little refresher and we're going to see how this card performs in both gaming and mining performance and see how does it stack up against gpus today is it worth having if you bump into one of these should you keep it well let's go test and find out well in short for gaming no but let's see what it can do let's just see how it stacks up and there's plenty of other content creators that made full-on gaming you know breakdown 10 games tested so on and so forth but this is what i got on fire strike right not really impressive this is stock just leaving it alone 58.34 overall, 61.12 on the graphics. And unfortunately, that's not much in the gaming arena. Now, this is a older system as well. It's an i7-4790K. They obviously overclocked the CPU quite heavily. And they got a score of 75.26. So not too far behind. But the GPU is a 1050. Not even a 1050 Ti. It's a 1050. And we could see that the uh, graphics score was 84.89 compared to what I had of 6122 so for 1080p gaming possibly if you need to slap a gpu in your system sure go for it but when it comes to you know performance against modern day graphics card that you can easily get your hands on uh for cheap i guess it it, it would work out right so on time spot we got an 1834 on this particular benchmark graphic score of 1615 now that that particular one is going to be a little bit more intensive and then when we compare that against another 1050 with an fx 8350 cpu uh it's quite disappointing now, obviously the cpu has been overclocked or tuned a little bit better uh than 2700x i'm sure i could pump out a little bit more on the 2700x but yeah graphic score down quite a bit uh overall score and we can see the frames per second had dropped down but at 1440p or higher the 760 doesn't have the vram or um memory to compete and also it's just really really old it's older architecture older technology overall but what about mining well mining performance this is the third most profitable cryptocurrency that you could possibly mine um obviously the system is starting to crash um or you know lag when you're mining and trying to capture the screen at the same time uh we are getting one cent per day one one 0.5 cent per day basically uh or 44 cents in a month and the gpu temperature is around 68 70 degrees and we're pulling about 117 watts um stock now obviously we could do some tuning excuse me not stock you can see the overclocks down here i got plus 100 plus 300 and then a power limit up to 130 obviously i could tune that down but then we're, we're negative like we're not getting even a cent the second most profitable coin uh and by the way the third one was Alium, I think that's how you say it. Alium, something like that. Uh, the second most profitable is the C19, and we're getting higher temperatures, 74C, 
Uh, we're still pulling around 130 watts, and we're only making the same thing, 1.5 cents. So 1.4 cent on the third most profitable, 1.5 cent on the second most profitable, C11. And then on the most profitable coin, the HMQ1725. Again, temperature's a little bit better, though, averaging around 63, 64, 65. Uh, pulling less power draw around 58, 60 uh, with the same clocks. And we're actually getting three cents per day. And this is at time of filming. Obviously, that's going to change. It's going to fluctuate. But it can't mine any of the known cryptocurrencies that people might like. ETC hash obviously doesn't have enough memory. ETH hash obviously doesn't have enough memory. Cortex doesn't have enough memory. DAG file too big. Um, so it's going to be mining these lesser coins. So finding this GPU and slapping into your system if you needed a graphics card just to hold you over until you got a new one perfectly fine is it gonna mine profitably technically yeah but after electricity you're basically breaking even or if not in the negative so no point there and then for gaming it will get you by on you know maybe some classic game games 1080p just fine maybe you can downscale 720p instead of uh 1080 uh, but it doesn't have enough VRAM to really maintain or keep up with today's technology. If you can find yourself an older graphics card like a 1050 Ti, 1650s are good. Um, you're going to blow this card out of the water. But for something that you could just slap in the system, get up and running, maybe as from a gaming perspective, because I wouldn't really do it from a mining perspective. Yeah, it works. But mining, those are the results. Gaming performance, go check out a full review for some of your favorite uh, content creators who do like 10, 21 benchmarks. Uh, but it's just not able to keep up in today's world, unfortunately. It's still a great card. It was a great card for its time. I'm going to hang on to it. I got two of them. I could always do uh, an SLI benchmark just to, just to play around because it's always fun to mess around with old tech. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video. So please do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel. Like to uh, links to our sponsor, um, uh, various sponsors and supporters of the channel. And I thank you for all your time and effort. And I will catch you next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.